terms sex and sexuality are a little bit flexible, particularly the first one, sex, in that we often use it now to refer to an activity, having sex. It used to be making love, now it's having sex, and there it's used to refer to activity. I would like to, to narrow the, the definition somewhat and say, you know, sex in its most important meaning today really refers to a biological makeup. Uh, men and women have different biologies, different physical characteristics. Primary sexual characteristics are genitals, secondary sex characteristics, you know, men grow beards, uh, women develop breasts, those kind of things. Sex is a, an in ineradicably biological term uh, in that sense. Sexuality is somewhat different. Sexuality r is really used these days to refer to desire or in a psychological state. Uh, I think if you try to use the term sexuality 200 years ago, nobody would have known what you mean because that separation between biological sex and the importance of sexual desire, that separation would not have been made. Sexuality refers to uh, desires, our erotic sexual desires. And it's the separation of those two that has proved so significant, I think, philosophically and culturally uh, uh, over time. Uh, specifically now in, in terms of, of sex and gender. Simone de Beauvoir, the French philosopher in her very important and influential book, The Second Sex, makes a distinction between biological sex and being a woman. Being a woman is something you become, you're not born. Well, that basic separation now lies at the very heart of the transgender moment, where the fact that you are born with certain biological sexual characteristics doesn't actually speak to your sexuality or your gender at all. That's something you can construct for yourself. Again, of course, it's very... Uh, it, it stands in stark opposition, I think, to what the Bible teaches. Genesis 1 to 3, human beings there, there's, first of all, sex is not an identity, it's an activity, it's what Adam and Eve do, it's not who they are. And secondly, there is a clear connection between Adam's biological makeup and Eve's biological makeup that is vital to their sexual union. It's their sexual complementarity that is so important. So. It's a distinction, sex and sexuality, that's a distinction that, that modern philosophy, if you like, modern culture makes that is alien to the world of the Bible.